Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayman and this video is sponsored by Union Repair. Today I'm reviewing iron my friend Sven sent to me. It's been here since long time. I want to say sorry to him. I've been very busy. You know guys, I love Hako and GBC and they say that this iron is a GBC replica. So let's give it a test and see how good it is it's named t12 there's many irons in the market with the name t12 let's see how good it is what i got here i got a station and three tips and holder and the iron itself and the power cable let's keep the power cable here i have one connected the iron looks exactly same the gbc i have and the quality of the wire is good and this is the holder it has auto sleep function when you put the iron here it will go to sleep so it will uh keep uh the the long the, the life of the tip longer i guess this has to be connected to the station because it's for the sensor for the auto sleep okay and this one will be connected to here the iron will take the power from the holder that's weird and this is a sponge we'll keep it now and let's connect a tip they say also you can use the original uh, GBC tips with this one. I got original GBC tip. We will test it out So let's put the original tips for that one now we connect it to the power and now it's on oh It's fast it's really fast now what I see that on the display control station status sleep that the the iron is in the sleep mode and act temp i think this is uh actual temperature or active temperature i guess it's actual temperature and set temperature i guess this is the temperature you want it's a 300 c and i have uh push buttons set up down okay so let me go to set and the set temperature is blinking i go up and down to set my temperature okay um i love to use 420 don't ask me why i love this number for no reason and then okay and now the actual temperature is 160 so this iron when it's in a sleep mode it's 160 let's see how fast it will uh raise the temperature when i remove the iron from the holder and that's very fast that's very fast okay let's give it a real test Okay, for cleaning and waking, it's really good compared to regular irons.
this is a donor board by the way so if you see any torn uh, pads it's not from the iron uh, if I torn anything I will tell you that's because of the iron that's very clean when I hold the iron in my hand it feels very good uh, and the tip to grip is very short that's very important for precision uh, soldering what I feel from here that it's a little hot not too much when I'm using my Hako or my GBC here I don't feel hot at all here it's a little bit hot what I notice as well that the, the tips is not that high quality the, the tip itself doesn't have like uh, some isolation uh, to not uh, oxidize and turning to black when the tip is turned to black you cannot use it unless you put it in a sponge and clean it and it become again uh, shiny silver I guess it has but it's not uh, working same like Hako and GBC but it's doing an amazing job comparing to uh, normal irons in the market let's give it a more test what I like when I'm teaching my students and I'm telling them about the thermal mass I like to solder directly to ground to show them how thermal mass can uh, absorb the heat from the iron and the good iron is the one which recover fast if this iron able to melt the solder here I would say it's it's a really great iron to use and oh my god oh my god oh my god I didn't expect that I, I swear didn't expect that it's it's very powerful iron I'm so I'm not saying that because uh, Sven is my friend and Union Repair is, is sponsoring this video you can see by yourself how pow powerful is this iron normal iron cannot do this even with the best uh, solder but what I say see how the iron itself oxidize this is the thing that I didn't like and this oxidation can be removed you can see it's removed now this iron is hundred thirty nine dollars only hundred thirty nine dollars I don't want to say it's affordable no that is cheap that is cheap price for such a good performing iron I see people they put the iron under the thermal camera and they check the actual uh, tip temperature that's fine but this is not how you measure the performance of the iron because the good performing iron is the one who will recover fast so if you put the iron to a metal same the copper we uh, have in the logic boards the board absorb some of the uh, temperature on the tip the good iron is the one which recover that loss of temperature fast and you you, do, you cannot uh, test or examine that under the thermal camera let me now change the tip to the GBC and check if it will work I don't think that's the right tip for for that handle this tip is for the micro GBC not the normal one and I don't think it will work I will try it with you I hope I not burn the sensor one two three and it's working 
It's working. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. That's turning to a weird looking uh, tin. And I think that one is burned. It's damaged. So don't use the tips for micro with that iron. Let me try another tip, which is the curved one. As you can see, I was able to make a jumper in iPhone X uh, torn bad. That's that's really amazing. I I cannot deny that the, this job with micro pencil is much easier. But if you have uh, good soldering skills, you can get the job done with this iron. So let's try the last the knife one and this is the most powerful one you have to take care when you are doing this because it will give the board a very thermal a very high uh, thermal uh, energy can rip the beds very easily because of the high temperature it carries we use this one uh, for uh, cleaning the beds sometimes under power chip when when there is too much ground I'm a little disappointed with this tip because I thought it will carry uh, more energy than that I'm trying to play with it to show you see the ground is resisting for such a big uh, tip I expect it to be more powerful than that. Oxidation doesn't help the solder to melt. So if I'm using the tip like that, it's not melting the solder, and that's why the this the knife shape is my least favorite one. I am honest with you. If I use it like this, it melts the solder, but it oxidizes like that. 
I'm disappointed with this one. This too is doing an amazing job. The curved one is the most favorite to me. I love this one. It carries a very high thermal energy. Ah, yeah, you see? Liquid. So if you ask me to rate this one compared to other ions in the market, not GBC, not HACO, I would say that this is the best I have used till today. Uh, I used the Axon, I used Quick, I used all of them, and this is the best of them. And if you ask me to compare it to GBC and HACO, I would give it a rate of uh, 7 out of 10 because of the lamination on the tips uh, it's not good enough uh, it makes the tip oxidize because of uh, the iron uh, getting a little hot from here because of the holder is light and cannot uh, be used for easy swap tips because of the performance of course the performance uh, compared to HACO and GBC it's like uh 60 70 percent that's why i'm giving it a uh, seven out of ten uh but it's good uh choice for people who use uh iron for daily uh, repairs and cannot afford to have a uh, hacko or gpc iron i recommend it i hope you enjoyed it watching this video please subscribe because Soon I will do more reviews for the tools also has been sent to me from Union Repair. Bye.